In this tip, I'm gonna teach you a simple way to learn how to swing the golf club. All right, so I'm now <laughs> in my 33rd year <laughs> of teaching the swing. And in talking to my students over all of these years, most of them have the impression that the golf club swings up and down. Well, you know, there's a ball on the ground right here. So it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? The ball's on the ground. You think you got to go up and hit down on that ball. And people are actually told to hit down on that ball. In no way are you going to think like that ever again. All right, so here's what I'm getting at. If I do a swing standing up, okay, so I'm going to do it right here. I'm standing straight up and down. Club is horizontal. If I took this golf club back, would I go like this? Up and down. I wouldn't do that. You know what I would do? I'd go around and around. So right here, up in the air, I'd go around and I'd go around. Around and around. And I would do that without even thinking about it. I would never go up or down. So now, if you went around and around, up here, and then you tilted that, how would the club go? It would go up and down because you're still going around and around. You've just added a tilt to it. So if I'm here going around and around, if I tilt, I still go around and around. And I think that's really what's throwing a lot of people off. They keep going like this, thinking it's got to go up, it's got to go down. As opposed to going around and around. So I want you to change the way you've been thinking all these years. I'm telling you. I switch you to this, oh my god, it's just going to be um, uh, dramatic. You'll hit it like you've never hit it before and in minutes because it's a whole different thought. Okay, we don't have to go up and down anymore. Okay, around and around and you would do that naturally right here. <laughs> There's no tilt to that though. <laughs> so we got to tilt. If you tilt, you're still going to go around and around. All right, so different thought. So what you do is you take your ball like this, maybe start with an iron. Okay, I've got a seven iron here. So why not start like this first, okay? And you can even video yourself just to prove that I'm not, you know, saying something that you wouldn't do. Okay, if you videoed yourself from right here, I guarantee you would not go like that with the golf club. That's up, that's down. You wouldn't do it. If you were up here, you'd go right here and you'd go around and then around. Okay, now, the one thing I want you to be aware of, if you're already somebody that kind of goes around and around, I don't want you to go like this and be like super flat. Okay? I just don't want you to go way up here. Okay? Around and around. Okay? See how I'm on a, uh, it's horizontal right here but it's a little higher up on this side. I like the club just slightly above the person's shoulder plane. All right, so you start up here. You get that concept in your mind. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna go around and around now. I'm not hitting down on any golf ball, okay? Now you lower it a little bit, around and around, okay? Ball's teed up a little bit to make it easy. Then, of course, you apply that same feeling to your shots. All right, so the club will work up and down all on its own. Okay, when I have changed people, it is dramatic. It is night and day how good they hit the ball after they start going around and around, not up and down. Okay, but like I said, I've asked people over the years, they think it goes up and down, and it does not. Purposely, okay? You know what's even easier when you get this? Driver. <laughs> it's longer, okay? Longer club, it automatically swings 
flatter. So if you had a driver and you were going up and down, that is never going to work. So after you get it with an iron, you tee up a driver. Again, you can start up here, think. Just think to yourself, in your mind, around. If you said around, okay, right here, if you said around, why would you go up? You would never do that. <laughs> All right, so you start up here and think around. You could just do back swings if you want. Around. That's half. Around. Okay, I'm going to hit the ball, but I'm not going to go down. I'm going to go around. Around and around. Okay, so you get that feeling. You step up to your ball, same sort of feeling. Around and around. Okay, so been wanting to do this tip for quite a while now. I know people are not seeing this right. Okay? <laughs> a lot of people are really tilted over. Okay? That's going to make it go way up and way down. A lot of people are here like this. They think balls on the ground, pro takes a divot. They got to be hitting down. <laughs> you take a divot due to having the right fundamentals. I've got another tip on that up here if you want to go check that one out or actually I'll put it at the end of the video. Why you take a divot. So you will take divots going around and around. It's just getting this concept. Okay? I'm telling you as soon as you start seeing this way you will hit it better than you've ever hit it in your life. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. Here's another tip that's going to help you improve your swing. Now right below that don't forget to click on that link because I'm going to send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that'll take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing.